Those we are focusing on a growing need for mental health support amongst law enforcement personnel. Locally, the Pima County Sheriff's Department is dedicating more resources to helping those who may be struggling with job related or personal stressors. 13 News reporter Ashley Bowerman spoke with the department about what they are doing to provide that support. A number of recent studies show that members of law enforcement are more likely to die by suicide than they are in the line of duty. It's why PCSD is pouring more resources into wellness across the department to make sure that no one in crisis has to suffer alone. Lieutenant Michael Mosley is the leader of the department's new wellness section. Created in July of last year, the current team of nine individuals provides health and wellness services to the department's over 1,400 members. It's been going extremely well. Um, the support that we have from um, Sheriff Nanos through my chief, through my captain, uh, it, it has just been apparent to me that it, this is a priority. Employees across the department are exposed to traumatic events every day, which can have a lasting impact on their well-being. Lieutenant Mosley says cases involving children are often the most difficult. He pointed to some recent child deaths involving children as young as three months old. I'm just glad that we have this resource here because these were things that our uh, department members were dealing with seeing and then going home um, and having to cope with on their own. The wellness section has also helped support department members dealing with the loss of their colleagues. PCSD has had a number of employees pass away off duty in recent months. Since October of last year, Mosley says they have lost at least seven Pima County Adult Detention Complex employees. Due to privacy, their cause of death is not being released, but Mosley says from his own experience, he knows working at the jail can be a stressful job. I can remember days of going in when it's dark and leaving when it's dark and you really kind of lose time and, I don't know, orientation. And it, it can be a little bit, uh, it can be a depressing environment as, as you could imagine. Along with the wellness section, PCSD has a peer support team, which has been in place since 1999. The team consists of 50 volunteers who will either self-deploy or respond to requests for mental health support within the first 10 hours of a traumatic event. We don't really provide solutions. We just want them to know, hey, uh, we're here, uh, we want to be here, and we care about you. And if a situation requires further evaluation, a clinician can be contacted outside the department within a matter of hours. Lieutenant Mosley says they have plans to expand this new wellness section and increase their number of peer support volunteers, which he says is the most important job in all of law enforcement. He also says they hope to have a licensed clinician on site sometime in the near future. Ashley Bowerman, 13 News. Coming up, a 